Hello and Merry Christmas and a uh, belated Gold Jul from Sweden as well. We celebrate on the 24th instead of the 25th, so that's why I'm uh, sitting here today doing uh, a video instead. And this one will be focused on the uh, major uh, body updates for the three Slink bodies. The Slink Physique Original, the Slink Physique Hourglass and the Slink Physique Male. Um, None of the updates are, for anyone worried, related to major changes in the weighting or the shape of the body, so everything is completely backwards compatible in terms of your pliers and clothing and so on. But you do have uh, a lot of news in the HUD itself, so I'm going to focus on uh, showing the HUD and uh, some of the functionality and some of the new tricks of it. Uh, but of course, it's always nice to look at the pretty bodies while we're doing that. So I did uh, rope in Ran as well to uh, help me deliver this little Christmas message. So he gets to um, stand around there as uh, one additional Christmas decoration. I won't be switching into the male body myself, but I will be showing the male HUD as well so that you can see all the shiny new alpha cuts for the male HUD as well. For looking at the HUD, we are going to look at the HUD for the uh, regular Slink Physique for women. Um, for the hourglass body, of course, the HUD is more or less the same. And when it comes to describing the new functionality of the HUD, um, it will be more or less the same for the male body as well. So I will stick to doing the major uh, discussion of the female HUD and then just show you how the alpha cuts look for the female uh, for the male body. Uh, and as you can see, there is a redesign um, on the outside of the HUD as well, so to speak. The uh, icon for it has been in the minimized state, has been made much smaller. You don't have the bar down the side, there's this red square with an S on. And when you click that, you do get a bar that goes downwards and it shows different tabs because that was the solution that they decided on for being able to fit in uh, more options because they simply wouldn't fit in on the single page old HUD. So what you have is effects, skins, layers and alpha. Um, alpha is probably what most people are interested in seeing so we'll start there. And it nicely, smoothly comes out when you click the alpha tab and here you can see a redesign graphically as well. It's got this grayscale uh, theme all over and um, a simplistic silhouette of the body like this. There are in particular more cuts, uh, cuts in the chest region for um, having different types of necklines. Um, same with the back to be able to accommodate different fits like that. And to um, toggle on the cuts you also have more methods. You can have clothing based quick toggles. For example putting on your t-shirt you would perhaps use the basic um, as a quick way to see if that is enough or if you need to make any personal adjustments um, or you could go ahead and toggle by body part like if it's a corset you might start with the the midriff toggle and um, see if that is enough for you and then of course you have more details like you can go with both legs or go part of each leg and so on you can see which parts have um, separate sections for example you can do the legs separately and the arms separately from left and right um, whereas other parts you can't separate out from left and right but there's a fair amount of good options here and it should make it more likely that you can fit things like Matreya clothing uh, onto a slink body uh, since a lot of the areas are problematic between the two I've found is like the stomach area um, obviously like a tiny crop top might still be a problem, but um, hopefully it'll give you more options. Down here you have some of the speciality options like don't having nipples poking out through things for example, and you have your, your neck fits. And finally you have your auto alpha and that is probably what most people are going to be excited about I think. Um, well that and the additional cuts. Basically I think Matreya has had it for a while now. And designers can put scripts into their clothes so that it'll hide the right pieces for the clothing as soon as you wear it. To make it more backwards compatible, you can also do this process yourself. Uh, and there are a couple of options and 
basically I'm gonna poke into my inventory here and show you like in the folder that you get for your slink physique mesh body there is a um, object called the slink physique auto alpha for consumers that one needs to be unpacked that's a separate item you unpack it and then you get this folder it has three note cards for three different approaches of doing the auto alpha and then it has the mini HUD a clean copy as it says here and I'm gonna put that on just to show you what it looks like it's a tiny little HUD and basically that one is used to store the options um, so what I'm gonna do here is really I'm gonna copy this one so I don't override my clean copy and take that one off again and a basic thing that you can do is let's say you want to save a um, something for a dress so you might want to take off um, your pelvis and both legs and um, both arms that, that's a fairly common one that I might do for a uh, um, a long covering dress uh, and then I would do that while I'm wearing the auto alpha I would click the auto alpha and you get a message down here saying all done please reset the body and attach the product uh, to test uh, that it all works so you detach the HUD again you toggle yourself back on and then you attach your auto alpha HUD and voila it'll hide the same ones that you saved it with um, so what you can do with this for example is and as you see, when I take it off, it'll actually toggle me back on as well, so I don't have to go and do that myself. Very good for lazy people. So what you can do is you take an auto alpha that you set up a HUD, and you put it with the clothing that you want to wear, so then you'd have to make a copy for each item of clothing that you want to be able to auto alpha. Uh, and then, of course, you could make an outfit with that clothing, and when you wear the clothing, you're going to end up wearing the um, auto alpha HUD as well, and it'll fix you up and take off the right parts. Uh, you can also, um, these are modify, so you can actually change the name of the HUD. Uh, it should be possible if you go into properties here and basically just do a test HUD, I think. Um, oh, right, because I have Slink here, it actually doesn't show me see there now it's called test hud instead and that way you can name it so that if you're searching for a particular brand or outfit the hud will have the same name or a part of a name and you'll be able to pull it off up more easily you could also if you want to be a bit more advanced do it to your clothing and i'm going to see if i have something suitable it's a little fiddly um, you do get some pretty detailed instructions, but I'll see if I can manage to do it. Um, let's try this shirt that I was doing it with. Right, you know, the tapestry separates from Paper Moon, and I'm going to try the jacket. So I'm going to put on the Slink Physique jacket, and it more or less fits. But I think I had some small issues with the shoulder and the arms, and in some positions um, it will break through. Uh, we'll just pretend that it breaks through more than it does. And what you do then is you put on, um, you actually you res out the auto alpha HUD. And then you go in and you get the script from it. And let me see, there we are. And basically, you need a copy of the clothing. I'm take it off actually again. And then you rest out a copy of the clothing. And you edit the clothing. And you go to the content tab. And you drag in your copy of the auto alpha script. There, see, it'll appear in the content tab. 
then you pick up the clothing. And that should be the changed one. You wear it. And let's say I want to do just the arms. So I take off the arms and then I touch the clothing now. You might have to click more as you saw to get to the touch option. And basically then you've activated the script and it has saved the state for this particular piece of clothing. So we take that off and we oh we do a double toggle to get my body back on and then you wear the clothing and it takes off the arms see here both arms off um you take off the clothing and the arms are back on so there are some really nifty ways of using this um the outfits are probably going to be uh, a big one to do it if you don't want to edit uh, individual pieces of clothing and as you saw the uh, there were detailed instructions for uh, how to do it for either for the mod mesh clothing or for outfits so you're gonna have a lot of options of doing your auto alpha and it's going to work whether you are a using the male or the female or either of the female bodies um, so that is a, a huge improvement, I think. Uh, it's going to make some types of clothing much quicker to wear. The second tab is for layers. You pull that one out like this, and you have a uh, lot more space for seeing um, which layer you're using and how you're toggling different pieces on and off. So you have quick toggles for just taking your um, each layer on or off. Uh, right now I have activated my uh, underwear layer and I actually got my tattoo layer on. I don't, I'm not sure I have anything on. Uh, no, Well, okay. I do have freckles on which show up to some degree, but there's always a little interaction with the, uh, the underwear and the tattoo layer in terms of how it will show up. And um, so it doesn't always work as intended especially between Omega and uh, slink appliers is what I've found and I don't think there is a real workaround for it but anyway I'm not gonna take off my underwear layer because uh, then I'll be naked and then YouTube won't be very happy with me I think um, I don't have anything on my clothing layer at the moment but uh, well, what I can do I suppose which should be safe enough I think is to toggle my uh, stockings off as you see, they, you got the foot part separate, so you can just easily click that on again, and oops, there we go, and we're stockings on again. And what you have now as well is um, alpha masking options for um, each layer, and you can toggle or you can adjust the strength of the alpha masking. Um, to have the layers interact in different ways except for the skin layer as you see not available there but for the others you can toggle the mask on or off um let's see what happens if as you see here it goes entirely solid um on the lace and so on and uh, and there you'll see that the freckles show up if i toggle the mask off well, right now they stayed on anyway so um, it's one of those little things you can also do the strength of this uh, so that you get different oops variability and we'll just pretend that didn't happen um, I haven't been able to um, find any good examples of when um, this is uh, particularly useful or not but it's definitely a very good option to have um, you also have tinting for each layer, so you could, if the skin is mod, I guess, um, go in and all of a sudden you'll be very blue um, with skin coloured freckles, which looks a bit weird, um, and then you just reset that to white if you don't want to be blue. Uh, you could also go on to the underwear layer, and I'm not sure if this is mod or not actually. Uh, yes it is, and then all of a sudden you will be uh, much bluer than you were before in your clothing. And again, you go and reset it to white. Um, this should give some really nice options for tattoos, for example. 
I mean, if I wanted to, I think I can give myself blue freckles. Um, looks a bit diseased, but if you want it, you've got it. Um, so you got that for all of your layers. Um, great new options, I think. Much easier to use, much easier to see what you're toggling on and off, uh, which parts are active. The fact that you can toggle the whole thing on and off with uh, just a button as well. Uh, very handy to have. The third tab is skins, and that is where you have your default skin options for the physique bodies. Um, including if you're wearing the Slink Visage mesh heads, it will apply to those, and of course your Slink hands and feet. Um, you've got them with and without nipples. You've got some basic makeups for your Slink Visage head, so that, uh, for example, the clear all makeup option is good to have on this HUD. You might be wearing, for example, the, the body HUD more regularly than you wear the head HUD, and that way you can easily go in and clear makeup. You also have uh, skin effects here, sheen and droplets, um, that shows up depending on your lighting. I'm not sure if I had anything on or not. Uh, if I put the sheen on, I'm not really in this light seeing any difference. Um, oops. Um, I will see if I'm seeing anything. I think there you can see a little bit of droplet effect. Uh, yes, when you're camming around like that, you can see a little bit of it coming on. Um, I like it for uh, subtle effects sometimes. I think it's a really nice uh, touch to have, especially the sheen more than the droplets. I'm going to stick to the sheen. Um, obviously, it depends on, entirely on how much you set yours to, to react, basically. Um, final tab kind of ties into this a little bit because it is the effects tab. And here you can play around with some new options as well. You can change the amount of gloss uh, on the uh, environment reflection and color of specular maps or remove specular and normal maps for any layer. So for example, you could make your skin, uh, if your skin had a specular map, you could make it glossier. You see the skin doesn't, so it doesn't actually have an effect. Um, you can set the layer to full bright, and you can set the layer to glow. So you can be very glowy and festive, which might not be all that normal. Uh, you can tint the effect of the specular and the normal map as well. Then you can go onto the tattoo layer, and maybe you want your tattoo glowing. And because I have this subtle freckling all over, I, I get this fairly subtle glow effect playing across. Uh, I would expect more use of this for obviously fantasy or science fiction looks, but hey, that's ex excellent to have. Um, or maybe you want um, glowing clothing, oh, that might be a little much. Let's tone it down a bit so that we've just got the, the white bits glowing brightly. So yes, you can have glowy knickers or a glowy bra as well. Maybe we should have that one glowing too. There we go. Um, again, probably an effect that is more useful for, like you know, cybernetic clothing, tattoos that are supposed to glow and have a, a mystical effect. I've got some of those from, like, Fallen Gods, which I think would be, look fabulous with the glow option. So uh, definitely some fun things to play around with uh, on this HUD. Now. Um, the HUD also has an improved help system, and I think we'll go back to the alpha option here. And you see the help tab here, and basically it's going to slide out the help tab over and explain each section. Uh, and uh, tell you what you can do. Uh, if you go over to effects, um, you have to reapply uh, the help, and again it'll tell you what options you have, and you'll see easily where it corresponds to, um, and then you can turn it off and you get back to the normal HUD. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to detach the female HUD, and I'm going to dig in and get the male HUD. 
you have your same same options here that you have uh, auto alpha obviously that you can um, uh, use to set up your alpha options and here we have the mail utilities alpha and layers hood version 2 and I am going to edit this to move it in a little bit um, because otherwise when I trim the view it's not going to show up so there we go and we open this one up to the alpha tab again and I'm going to let you actually look at the mail body while we're working on this. Um, as you can see, the layout is exactly the same as for the female body. Um, but you have, uh, again, an increased amount of cuts um, for uh, particularly around uh, the neck area. You've got a lot of little cuts around the shoulder. Um, you have got similar cuts on the back and... Uh, this should have um, a lot more options again for guys to wear clothing that may not be made for the slink body um, so that they, you know, standard size clothing, clothing made for the signature mesh body or the mesh project mesh body. Um, I obviously can't show on myself here the, the way the cuts work, but you've got the same setup with clothing pieces um, prepared and then quick toggles also with body parts uh, guys don't have the option for different uh, neck fits uh, I, I asked about this and was told that it has to do with the way that uh, uh, body fat uh, is um, it works worse on the the male body than the female body in, in terms of how it deforms it and uh, so that's why um, they've opted to to leave that option out. Um, Rand does find it a little limiting because uh, he does use body fat rather than the body width and muscle um, to make his shapes. He prefers um, not having to add too much muscle tone or um, or too much body width to get the looks that he wants. And uh, the other layers. That you have or the other tabs are about the same as you can see they've got default underwear appliers as well you've got the same options for alpha masking and tinting you've got skins again you have uh, you don't have a, a, a face or a head rather for so instead of um, default options for makeup you have uh, alternative skins for the included flaccid penis um, so that you can easily set this all up from the HUD rather than you know, using anything else. Um, you got your body and your hairless body and body with hair. You got the sheen and droplet effects. Uh, and your effects tab is exactly the same as on the uh, the female HUD. Same with the help and so on. So uh, this is uh, quite a major update. And oops, I see that I have misplaced my socks along the way so I will just quickly pop in and get my um, female utilities back on get to my alpha layers and toggle that and that actually seems to have disappeared because I took the hood off which I think may relate to the utilities um, that I will have to investigate anyway um, you have a lot of new options um, the auto alpha in particular and the new alpha cuts um, the bodies look the same and I, I think they look great they are um, among my favorite or the female is without a doubt my favorite female body uh, especially the original although I sometimes enjoy using the hourglass as well um, I tend to tone down some of the extremeness of the hourglass figure myself um, but I find that it, it can be used for uh, making stockier shapes quite well because it has a broad rib cage. Um, I really like the uh, the male body as well. There are, uh, I think, uh, several good male bodies out there. But now with these updates to the HUD, I would say that the Slink one is uh, the most versatile. 
um, and uh, the most easy to use and most user friendly. Um, I'll come around a little bit and uh, give you more of a look at the bodies. Um, for those of you that maybe haven't got it and have been, you know, waiting for this sort of update to take a look at them instead. And my, those are some very tiny panties that I've got a hold of. Uh, they're actually from um, uh, Chocolate Atelier uh, Gotcha, and uh, I think it's a, yes, it was at the Fantasy Collective. Uh, their uh, loot box event. Uh, my stockings, on the other hand, are uh, from this uh, week's Fifty Linden Friday from Luxuria. And uh, whereas Ryan is wearing the uh, default uh, boxers that come with the slink body, and he's got on a skin from um, from birth, and it's uh, Omega appliers uh, for for the body, and he's using a system head. Um, I've got on the Simone head from the look guy again, and I'm using appliers from um, Adam and Eve. Uh, the Chelsea skin, which was out for uh, the previous look I had, and I really like them on the uh, Simone Bento head as well. Um, gone with a freckled version, because uh, the the character that I have in mind here has freckles, and I, I really think it looks great on a mesh head. That is certainly one of the things that mesh heads do really well, that sort of fine detailing. But as I said, this is mostly about the, uh, the slink bodies, and I hope this has given a little bit of a sense of what more you can do. I think that um, I will definitely be uh, making use of setting up some um, default uh, uh, alpha HUDs, for example. Uh, I wear a lot of uh, <clears throat> long gowns, and it's uh, usually my method has been to alpha out all of myself and then turn on, back on what I need to have for various necklines. So um, saving some um, personal alpha huds for that uh, should be a, a great solution to that. Um, I suspect that Ryan will find it very useful as well. He's um, been a bit reluctant to get into the whole mesh body things and shopping for mesh bodies because he finds the setup tedious. Um, but I've now forced him to make outfits, basic outfits and then I think he will take to the auto alpha options uh, quite quickly as well. So uh, that is uh, my little um, Christmas video and uh, maybe if you've been good or maybe if you've been very very naughty um, uh, Santa will have uh, brought you a, a new body to play with for Christmas um, which seems like a really fun thing to have to play with. Um, until the next one.